success is a blessing, and being an instrument to help others is more than being successful. SAP SE, one of the market leaders globally in the industry that creates enterprise software to manage business operations and customer relations, chooses the Philippines. They help companies of all sizes and industries run better. On its second year, SAP announced in Taguig City last March 4 that 12 of their employees from United States of America, Europe, Latin America, and India accomplished a month-long obligation aiming to help the four social enterprises and non-profit organizations here in our country to attain the best practices and achieve operational efficiency. If I was a young entrepreneur today, what would I focus on? Um, I think the talent is out there in the Philippines. We need to grab it. Uh, we need to acknowledge that it's there. We need to be creative. The creativity in the Philippines is uh, endless. We need to be creative. We need to grab the opportunities that are out there. We need to be bold um, and take, take advantage of the digital economy, which is 100% to our benefit. SAP's objective to help social enterprises here in the Philippines is vastly undeniable as they continue to change lives from different walks of life through social sabbatical program. They are also giving way to aspiring Filipino entrepreneurs to reach the global market by strengthening their leadership capabilities, marketing development, and intercultural compassion. Siridaralan is a well, non-profit organization that helps the underprivileged and low-performing students. So what we do is we customize the learning technology for the mga palakon, line of seven. And then after a year, our target is for them to raise their level of awareness of who they are at magkaroon sila mga kumpiyansa and at the end, shift even their grades. So the grades has now become a byproduct of their confidence and knowing of, of who they are. So Teach for the Philippines, what we do kasi is we, uh, we recruit, we, we train, and then we deploy uh, young leaders, so yung mga fresh graduates or even nagtatrabaho na to teach for two years in public schools. They become lifelong education advocates uh, through their experiences in the classroom. So kasi ang importante hindi lang naman yung dalawang taon sila nagturo sa classroom kung hindi ko ano yung gagawin nila pagkatapos. They go to different sectors like the academe, the government, the um, corporate sector, and also development and do their parts there and always have education at the forefront of their mind. So whatever that they do, it will always be for education reform. Economics is a platform for social enterprises, killed volunteers, corporations, and the academe to be able to engage with underprivileged communities so that they, we can build sustainable livelihood and to be able to build global brands that do not leave the poor behind. I'm Cree Lopez. I'm the founder and CEO of Messy Bessy Cleaners Incorporated. So that's a social enterprise. Um, on the surface, we manufacture and retail um, all natural household and personal care products, but we really put up our our organization for the sole purpose of providing employment and education for at-risk young adults. When we say at-risk, they're formerly abused, formerly trafficked, formerly um, incarcerated, impoverished young adults. They have also inspired the Filipinos to have the potential to succeed in any industry. This is Jade of NCHEP TV, proud to be Entrepreneur.